Welcome back to the channel and in today's Blender tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you perhaps one of the most powerful yet simple things you can learn as a person who uses Blender. This is gonna be a topic of shape keys and I'm gearing this towards beginners. Um, so what are shape keys? Shape keys, and I'm gonna explain this in a video, essentially, we're just gonna take a piece of mesh and we're gonna um, take the existing topology and create the shape keys and in every shape key, where you can position the mesh in just a little bit of a different way. And then Blender will automatically interpolate between these different um, shape keys. And we can even animate them, add values to them. And it's a lot simpler than it looks. So I'm gonna show you where you can get this dragon model um, for free. And then you can follow along or you can use your own existing asset if you want. But this really is so powerful. It's gonna really put you forward as a Blender artist. It's gonna enable you to do cool things to your models, especially if you're doing organic stuff and creatures. So let's jump in to this awesome tutorial and have some fun. If you already have an asset that you wanna work with, go ahead and skip to the part where I show how to do shape keys. For those of you who wanna follow along with the dragon, I'm gonna quickly show you where you can get it. So you're gonna use the link in the description below. It's a Sketchfab link. It's free to create an account. Once you click on that link, it's gonna bring you here. Make sure you're signed in, or if you haven't already created an account, make sure you create one. And this is a free model. And I'm gonna give full credit to this creator over here. Make sure to follow them, check them out. And you can see over here, it is under um, Creative Commons Attribution. It is allowed to be used for these purposes. And I give full credit. So the link for this will be in the description. So how do you download it? You're gonna to go to Download 3D Model and then you can choose whatever option. I strongly recommend you go with the FBX option. Click on download. Now I've already done that. It doesn't take long to download. You're gonna to go to your downloads folder. You're gonna right click on the zip folder and just extract it as you would any other zip folder. Go ahead and extract. And then you're gonna get this one angry dragon um, file over here. And let's for simplicity's sake, just take that extracted zip, drag it onto our desktop. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch Blender 4.0. That's what I'm gonna be using. Inside of there, I'm gonna select everything and press delete. And then I'm gonna go file. Let's go down to import and let's go to the FPX option. In this case, like I said, it's on my desktop and I'm gonna go ahead one angry dragon. I'm gonna go to the source and then click on the FPX file and then go import FPX. I'm gonna select these particles over here and just press delete. I'm gonna select the chain over here and just press delete. You guys can keep whatever you want. Um, that's just what I'm doing. And let's go into the front orthographic view, press A to select everything, and then go R, Z, 9, 0, and press enter. Just so we have it like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the dragon. I'm gonna quickly go over to um, the material properties. I'm just gonna get rid of this and go new, and then go to base color, go to image texture. Let's click on open. And once again, I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I'm gonna go to where that is. So where's the dragon? Inside of there is the textures, and I'm just gonna click here on the diffuse and go open image. And now if we go Z and we go material preview, we can see the texture. You guys go ahead and um, add the other ones if you want, like the bump map and all that. One more thing I wanna do is just select the eyes. I'm gonna do the same thing. Just give them a new material, go to the base color, image texture, open, and once again, just go into the textures file and then select the eye. With the eye selected, I'm just gonna go hold and shift, select dragon and go control J. And now we have one mesh over here ready to go. And I am in the material preview. So now let's get into the shape keys. So shape keys are super simple. With your mesh of choice selected, go over to your object data properties and under where your vertex group lives, you're gonna see something called shape keys. Now maybe you've always seen it there, but you haven't known what it does. So I'm gonna show you right now you're gonna click on the little plus and it's gonna create what's called your basis. Now the basis is usually um, the one you don't touch. It's the one you don't alter. It's the original mesh in its position, right? Because what we're doing here is we're not editing the topology as in adding more or less um, faces or mesh. What we're actually doing is we're gonna go between different shapes here. Blender is gonna do the interpolation for us. So let's go ahead and click plus again. So now we have our first shape key. So now, for example, and don't follow along with this exact thing, just, I'm just gonna quickly show you just so you get a quick idea. If I were to come in here and just quickly move something like this on that keyframe, and now I come back into object mode and I drag this value, Blender is gonna interpolate between this one over here. So if I quickly go into edit mode with the bases, then I click on a key one, you can see these are the two different ones. 
Blender is going to look at each vertex and find the um, positions and then interpolate as we drag this slider. Okay, so now you guys kind of get the basic idea. So I'm just going to get rid of that key one, go plus again to add it in. And now what we're going to do for our little fun example here is make the dragon mouth close. So make sure you have key one. In fact, let's just call it um, mouth close. It's always good to name as you go. And now with that selected, let's tab into edit mode. And we want a point to rotate the jaw. So let's go over here to our tools and let's click on the cursor and let's click here in the corner of the jaw. And then let's go back to our move tool. And now let's go into wireframe. And if we're gonna press C, we get our selection tool and let's select the jaw over here up to this point and maybe over here, grab some of these guys here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our transform pivot. Let's make it 3D cursor. And under our proportional editing, make sure that is enabled. And you're gonna to come to the drop down and make it connected only. And now if we go R, we can rotate and roll our middle mouse button to control the fall off. And I'm just gonna come and close this mouth like this. I'm gonna go back into the solid view just to make sure everything's looking okay. And then I'm gonna go control minus just to grow, um, shrink the selection a little bit. And then back in the front view, I'm just gonna rotate it a bit more, just like that. And then I'm just gonna grab this front jaw, just a vertex, and then I'm gonna go G. And with proportional editing, just move it back just a little bit. So we've just simply closed the jaw, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tab back out. And now we have this mouth closed. And now if we take this value and we drag it, look at that, our dragon mouth is closing. And we haven't even created a rig or anything. It's a really powerful way of adding um, animation quickly to an object. It has a lot of actual applications in character creation. But now that we have a mouth, let's add another one. So for, but for now, I'm just gonna drag this to a value of zero. And if you're absolutely new, you might not notice. If you have anything with a value, you can just come here and click on this little X and I'll set all the shape keys back. So now let's go plus. Let's call this I, and uh, let's go blink. And because it's gonna be one eye in this case, I'm just gonna go underscore and go L for the left eye, like so. And now I'm gonna go into here with the mesh selected and let's go set our pivot transform back to median point. And now I'm gonna select a vertex here and now I'm gonna go G with proportional editing. And I'm just gonna maybe create a bit of a blink. I'm gonna grab this eye over here, bring it out a little bit, like so. And all I'm doing here is just making a very, very simple kind of blinking thing here with the dragon, like that. Just pulling the skin up and down. I'll probably pull this up a little bit, like this. There we go. Just look at it from different angles. Let's maybe pull this over here. Just create a little bit of a blink here with the eye and then let's tab back out. And now if we grab that eye blink underscore L, we can now make our dragon blink, just like that. How cool is that? Now you can come in here, plus you can go I blink underscore R. And by the way, I'm not gonna show this here, but if you have a symmetrical model, you can actually copy one shape key over to the other side automatically. Because this is non-symmetrical, unfortunately I can't demonstrate this in this case, but it is capable of doing that. In this case, I'm just gonna go I blink dot R, and I'll just come in here and I'll just grab this and make a blink for that as well. Bringing that in. And then grabbing this, bringing it down a bit. And closing it like so. Tabbing back out and now I can also blink that eye over there. Um, yeah, that is really, really just how basic it is. I can't really demonstrate this any better than with this example here. I think this dragon really lends itself quite well to demonstrating the power of shape keys. And what you can do now is you can animate these things. So you can come in here, for example, with the mouth close. And let's come to maybe frame 10. Let's come to a value of zero over here. Click on this little animate property. And now it's got a keyframe. Let's come up to frame 30 and let's shut it close. Click on that again and let's maybe just grab this shift D to do a hold. And uh, 
maybe in between that hold, let's just bring it down just a little bit, add one in here, just for a bit of dynamic movement. So let's try that out. Yeah, you can space it maybe a little bit. Yeah, you guys kind of get the idea here. Very simple, just to add animation to your keyframes here or your shape keys. And you can do the same thing with the blink. You can come in here and click on the blink and maybe have the eye open at a certain point and then have it close at a certain point by bringing up this value. And then, um, you know, just mess around with it. Have fun trying out different values with the um, shape keys here, adding keyframes to them. But this is it. This is how you can very easily use shape keys and Blender. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Definitely subscribe, give this video a like if it's been helpful and check out some of my other content. I'll see you guys next time.